Welcome to season three of the I Talk to Angels podcast. I'm Beverly Densham, author of the book I Talk to Angels. I really look forward to bringing you tips, meditations, angel card readings and guidance from the angels every week to help and inspire you. Whether you're new to the angels or have loved the angels for a long time. podcast day hello and how are you this week (laughs) sorry I sounded a bit croaky there anyway lovely to see you and a big cheers to you it's just been well it's kind of the month of love but and it's been valentine's day and I think there's so many angles you can you can go by with all of this but any day can be a day of love and I think nicest way to live life is in a loving way as much as possible isn't it And today's podcast theme is all about one way to follow your heart and soul with the angels. And there's a beautiful little piece in my book about this. Um, In my book, I talk to angels. And I thought we'd bring that into meditation for you today with the angels. Um, In the meantime, yeah, what should we chat about? Yeah, well, let's just talk about, yeah, heart and soul. I think... That's all, that is all about love. And I really analysed Valentine's Day this year. <laughs> and it was a really, really interesting, it's been quite a roller coaster, interesting journey over the last week. Uh, but what I realised personally, I don't know what about you, is that to me, the most important thing is our love for, for you, your love for you, my love for me. Um, my immediate little family love and friends and family love and of course there can be romantic love as well you know some of us are in a relationship some of us are single and I think that the angels I mean what how would you describe this angels yeah you know Valentine's Day for example has been a, a day that's been made up to celebrate really, you know, romantic love. Yeah, I think, you know, (laughs) it's a beautiful way to just celebrate love in all forms. And that's what I did in the end this year. And I mean, I did go for it with, I did go for it with the self-love gifts. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous red roses. I wonder if they could just stay there today. (laughs) In case you're watching on YouTube, got gorgeous red roses going on here. But actually it was the love and the time spent both on my own and with friends and family and with, of course, the angelic realm and everything that made it absolutely beautiful. Uh, Yeah, gifts, yeah, icing on the cake, but actually all those beautiful different relationships, either with yourself and with friends and family, is is way richer than um, than presents. Presents are kind of just extra bonuses. (laughs) <laughs> that make you really smart I must say oh I wish I bought it to show you I was gifted the most incredible incredible cakes ever um, I think that it was extra incredible because it's just out the blue not expecting it surprises are beautiful and let's all let's all surprise each other as much as we can this year because my god we need some surprises and extra love so I don't know what this has got all got to do exactly with following your heart and soul, but I, I think it has actually got a lot to do with it. Because if you do things you love in your life and in your relationships, and you do things you love in your passions and your hobbies, you do things that you love in your work. You can see me moving around here. I'm sat here on my giant <laughs> mindfulness Pilates pink ball, bright pink ball. It's wonderful. So it's just so good for the back. You don't have to sit still. It's wonderful. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. But if you follow your heart and soul in all those things, you're just onto a winner. So let's pick an angel card about this. This is one of my angelic mini cards. I wrote these with my guardian angel at the beach, and mostly. And I wrote the messages with my angel in the sand. And apart from one of them, in Dorset, apart from one of them, that's UK, apart from one of them is in the woods. Anyway, let's see what we get today about this, about following your heart and soul with the angel. Take a breath in and out. Just 
one is jumping out today. Interesting. It's got zebra crossing. When you're at a crossing, angels are now tickling my nose. There's obviously something quite poignant and, and needed to be spoken about today with this. When you're at a crossing in your life, simply ask your guardian angels for help. They can help you look at things from a different angle. The letters of angle, well, angel, meaning you do have the innate wisdom of the angels within you. The angels are saying when you're on a downer, um, which we all are sometimes, <clears throat> for different reasons, ask your angels to help. You know, ask Archangel Michael to clear away debris, stress, you know, um, anything that's not serving you for your highest good. Just let it go. Let it go. Ooh. Blow it out the window and just fill yourself and serve with love and healing and ask Archangel Michael to do that for you. And um, ask Archangel Michael to surround you with a blue purple cloak bubble of protection. And there if there has been stress between you and another person, people, situation, just ask Archangel Michael right now. Take a breath in and out. Ask Archangel Michael to cut those cords of fear and stress. <sighs> Leaving the cords of love. You deserve that. And that will then help you move on, find solutions. You, you, you know, you can go from many angles on that. And the angels are always there to help you. And really journal with your guardian angel. You know, a big, big part of my book, I Talk to Angels. Have you read it? Are you using it practically? Because that's kind of the key is to use it every day, pick a page intuitively, but journal with your angel during good, challenging, sad times, because that will allow you to keep following your heart and soul. You know, sometimes we have bumpy moments, bumpy evenings, whatever, but it's going to pass. It will, that this time, that, that time will pass and then you have the new now. It won't stay stuck like that and stagnant or whatever it is. So this zebra crossing message, have a think about what does that mean to you today? Because sometimes you've got to do clear some, do some decluttering and clear the debris to um, to move forward to that more clarity, um, alignment, flowing, beautiful place. I'm going to pick you also a message from my Happy Kids cards. I use these with all my adult clients, but I originally designed them for four to 11 year olds. Um, but it's lovely, you know, I keep selling out, which is great. Um, one day I want them to be published and go in their special box and get out there a lot more worldwide and at least get them on Amazon. <laughs> oh <dear. clears throat> So I've got a new print running. They're back in stock, which is great. So they are to bring more happiness, and confidence and calm to children's lives and you. If you are a parent, please use them with your for yourself, number one. If you are just you, you please use them for yourself every day. I pick one every day. And if you are a parent as well, or carer, or teacher, or counsellor, or anything like that, um, yeah, use them with your child or children together, like every bedtime. I mean, when my son was primary age, I used them every bedtime, every bedtime, every day. A lot of people swear by using them first thing in the morning as well, or in the morning. Um, but, and especially when there's difficulties and challenges, give yourself permission to talk about what it means to you, to them. So best message for you about following your heart and soul. Patience. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm laughing. Yes. What does this mean to you? I am patient. I usually wait my turn. I have really noticed there really seems to be a common theme with this card when people pick it. The most common response I get is, I am not patient. And the point is, if you get the card message, just have a think about what it actually does mean to you. What does it mean to me today? Yeah, I, I chatted about my to my sister and fellow author Julie New about this a little bit on my mindfulness Pilates podcast, actually. And um, I'm patient in many ways. Equally, I have a long way to go. I've been perfectly improving with some areas of patience, but oh well. So we can do in life, isn't it? Or you can do in your life. But <laughs> um, I think that's an interesting one. I think just enjoy the journey, you know. Um, enjoy the journey. Really enjoy the journey. That's all I have to say. So let's go into meditation. Short and sweet one today. So I'm going to bring in a beautiful message from I Talk to Angels in just a second. 
Before we do, I just must give a shout out to Spirit and Destiny magazine, who I write for regularly with the Angel Q&A and everything. But I do do an, a gorgeous event. So you can also catch me live every week, um, pretty well every week on their Facebook page. Uh, we've just been doing the theme of self-love and love and romance. And we have a different theme going on every week. But there's always an angel meditation. There's always an angel card reading. And it's just a really, it's just a, I love it. It's got a great vibe going on. Um, everyone's there sharing their experiences, their angel journey, your, your angel journey, your angel experiences, your experience in angel meditation. And you're developing your skills with the angels. Um, to bring more happiness and guidance yeah in every area which is so nice actually I've been doing it since the first lockdown a year ago nearly <laughs> and uh, here we are in another lockdown so it's um still felt very important to me to offer that that's why I offered it I um, wanted to make help make a difference so here we are we're just doing it every week now <laughs> it's a regular <laughs> um so let's meditate What should we bring into meditation today? Actually, um, just been guided to bring in a message from Karen also, as well as from I Talk to Angels, also a message from Karen Cave. This is the beautiful Karen here. Here she is. I'm just zooming in on Karen. <laughs> um, you can also watch out for, I've got a beautiful angel fairy card reading event next week so on my Beverly Pension Facebook page. It's my angelly Facebook page. So me karen and who's also obviously of that deck and also oracle of um messages from the mermaids as well hey house author and also do, we're doing the event as usual with the gorgeous chris meredith who's spiritual broadcaster as seen on psychic today etc <laughs> hi chris so oh chris is coming on my podcast soon too i told him not to fall asleep because he likes he finds it very relaxing the meditation <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be lucky to see Chris on the podcast in the near future too okay so we're going to go into meditation now about following your heart and soul oh that's just perfect okay so we're going to bring a fairy card into meditation a fairy message as well and we're going to bring in angelly messages um, I talk to angels for you. So just bringing in the music now, and you can sit or lie down for this meditation today. And if you like, you can place your hands on your heart or wherever is comfortable for you and close your eyes. Breathe and relax. Welcome to your, follow your heart and soul with the angels meditation. Breathe and relax. In through your nose, out through your mouth, relax. And just relaxing more and more on each out breath. Yawn if you want to yawn, take a rest. If you want to tuck yourself up in a cozy blanket, you can. In through your nose, out through your mouth, relax. And start off with a beautiful I Talk to Angels prayer to connect you in with the angels and your personal guardian angel who's like a spiritual best friend are you ready guardian angel please surround you with your unconditional love shine your bright light on you for guidance positivity healing happiness and inspiration let your light shine and you light the sun in your life and work guardian angel please help you to talk to you and to receive your guidance and love with gratitude i thank you Breathe and relax. Archangel Michael wants to come in too. There are many, many angels you can call upon. And the amazing thing is the archangels can be with you at the same time, simultaneously, if you ask. Archangel Michael, please place a blue, purple cloak bubble of protection around you and me. And that this meditation and guidance is for the highest good of you and everyone and everything around you. Thank you. Guardian angels, please help you and me see, hear, feel and know what the angels would love to say to you today. Breathe and relax. 
and repeat to yourself, I trust my heart. I trust my heart and soul. I trust my intuition. I allow my heart to blossom and open like a flower. Breathe and relax. And again, I trust my heart. I trust my heart and soul. I trust my intuition. I allow my heart to blossom and open like a flower. The angels are sending you love. The angels are sending you so, so much love. You are loved. You are surrounded by love. And all is well in your world. Follow your heart, follow your soul, follow your guidance. Do what you love, be with what and who you love, love yourself. The angel loves you. In on the next step, let's just wiggle your fingers and your toes and slowly open your eyes. Have a glass of water. How are you feeling? Sorry about drinking on my podcast, but I need um, some water. <laughs> uh, imperfectly perfect, as my friend Jenny Lee Gray says. By the way, have you ordered a book yet? Such a good book, such a good book. Such a good book, such a good book. Happy, healthy, sober. I'm, I'm not quite with it yet. <laughs> Have some more water, everybody. Just do a few mindfulness Pilates circles with the shoulders. Come up to sitting. And I was going to bring the fairy card message into meditation, but it, it, it just didn't happen. So I'll read it to you now. So this message, just to help you come round from Oracle of the Fairies by my friend Karen Kay, who is a gorgeous, gorgeous light worker, is Life Energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Oh, how fantastic is that? The sun is actually shining here today. It peaked out a little bit yesterday. It's been, I don't know about you, but in the UK, it's where you are. This year so far has been very dark. It's been very um, weather-wise on the whole, not all the time, but a lot of the weather has been what you would describe as gray and dark and gloomy and a lot of rain and very, very cold. And sometimes you have the magical moment where you get to see the light and it's like, oh my goodness, thank goodness. And then you see a beautiful flower or a flower blossom and you're like, thank you um so but it doesn't mean you can't enjoy that light and brightness it's like today I felt I had to light candles whilst I'm working to bring in more love and light into just the whole aura and energy of my workspace as well as my home space too so what about you what does this message mean to you today aren't they beautiful beautiful cards very magical energy surrounding this. Now, watch your posture. The fairy in this card has got beautiful posture, very confident, very open posture. So really watch your posture. And uh, there is a great TED Talk to watch on that by Amy Cuddy. Uh, watch her TED Talk on body language and stuff like that. It's fascinating. And there's a massive link to good posture, success, confidence, happiness, self-esteem, so many things, uh, so, so many things. So if you want to Im improve your posture, come and see me for mindfulness Pilates. But uh, seriously, just think about it anyway. Um, so that feels quite important. Anything else, Angels, about this? Yeah, just bring colour into your life. Bring colour. 
so that can be in whatever form you know is <clears throat> is right but bring color in and whether that's through flowers through plants through um whatever it is make sure there's enough color going on <laughs> yeah so that's it on today's podcast hope to see you at the angel um angel card fairy reading event with me Karen and Chris uh, maybe see some of you at the Spirit and Destiny magazine weekly live event on Wednesdays one o'clock London time on the Spirit and Destiny magazine Facebook page week in week out <laughs> um, that'd be lovely and uh, yeah have an amazing amazing week thank you as well to all the reviews thank you to all of you who keep buying my book um, yeah it's helping a few people which is lovely it's helping um a few people which is great so thank you so much i will keep going with my angel work because it's a big passion and my goodness they can help you so much and they're sending you so so much love today lots of love thank you for listening to this episode of the i talk to angels podcast please rate and review on your podcast platform You can access my free angel healing meditation on my website. You can get a signed copy of my book, I Talk to Angels, which includes a free manifestation meditation with the angels. You can also book your one-to-one coaching and angel card reading by going to angeliclifestyle.com.